Hey there YouTube and the boy back with another video. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can install GAPS or Google Apps in your Moto E running Android 7.0. If it's your first time here or in case if you are annoyed why I am making this video, my name is Motion, this is Android Boy Games World. So, let's get started. First of all, thanks a lot guys for all your enormous support. I just crossed 200 subscribers as you guys can see in the back of my screen. I just crossed 200 subscribers in less than uh, four, in less than 3 months. I just uh, got 100 subscribers in less than 10 days. That's pretty awesome response from you all guys. I don't know if it's because of the giveaway or is it because you like my content. And yeah, please stay tuned, more kind of giveaways will come on my 350 subscribers. I bet guys, I, I mean, I, I promise you all guys, that the next giveaway will be on 350 subscribers. I know it will take a huge time, approximately 2017, but still, the next giveaway will be on 27, uh, will be on uh, 350 subscribers. So stay tuned, and don't unsubscribe, unsubscribe me, I will definitely try to improve my content at all. Now, let's come back to the topic. If you guys don't know what is Google Apps or Gaps, I'll just explain you in short time period and then we'll continue how you can install it. So Google Apps or Gaps is basically a file or a zip file for Google, uh, for your uh, for any kind of phone. Now, as you all guys know that after installing or flashing any custom ROM, the Google Apps are not present by default. But while but if by flashing the Google Apps files or the Gaps file, you guys can easily install all the Google Apps or not, many few Google Apps like Google Play Store or something like that. And after installing that, you guys can easily do whatever you want with Google. So I hope you understand what is Google Apps. And now let's check how you can install the Google Apps in your Moto E running Android 7.0. Let's switch the screen to my camera. So as you guys can see, this is my Motorola Moto E Condor, which are you call. This is my Motorola Moto E running Android point, uh, Android 7.0. I'll just show you that it's running Android 7.0. This is the ROM which I told you you can install. And if you guys have not saw my video how you can install Android 7.0, which is here, Android 7.0 Nougat, on your Motorola Moto E, you guys can easily check out by clicking the card appearing right now. I have made two videos, the both the videos will be linked in the card appearing right now. So you guys can easily check it out how you can install Android 7.0. Okay, so first of all, I'll just show you that I do not have any kind of Google Apps. That's quite annoying for any kind. Just let me lower the brightness, guys. Alright, so this kind of annoying for some users, for many users basically, you do not have any kind of access to Google Apps as you can see, you no know, Google Apps are available by default and you need to download it manually. So I will just show you which uh, Google Apps you need to download here, so you can easily get it, get an idea basically, just go in SD card and, oops, just a second guys, uh, SD card, I don't, Okay, it's just telling me do not have any kind of root access. Uh, now, man, guys, I'll just show you which uh, files do you need. So, first of all, you just need to power off your device. So, I'm just keeping this part of powering off device and booting it into recovery. Okay, guys, so as you can see, we are just booted in the recovery. So, I will just show you which Google Apps or which Gaps file you, you need to install here. So, I'll just go in File Manager. As you know, that it was not allowing me to load the files via this uh, uh, internal storage. So I can easily load it by file manager and show you right here. So let's find where I just stored it up. Okay, all Google Apps file. Okay, here it is. So the file you need to download is this one. Uh, Pico, yeah. Open gaps. Uh, I hope you can see guys. Open gaps arm 7.0 Pico 20160995 zip. So just to go ahead and download the zip file. I'll just link down to the my direct Google Drive link so you guys can easily download it with the high speed. So I uploaded this file to Google Drive so you can easily download and it's just of 84 MB and please note that you will only get Play Store in this Pico file because Pico file is very short. You will only get a Play Store and after that you can download any Google file you want like uh, Hangout or something like that. So just go ahead and quickly install. So I'll just install here and find a location where I installed. Select the storage, micro SD card, all Google Apps files and yeah please make sure that do not inst install or ever try to download the micro file as you can see here. Android open gaps or micro for Android 7.0 zip will not work at all. You just need to download the Pico file. I'll just flash in front of you. And yeah, I'm just keeping this part so you guys don't need to wait. Yeah. Okay, so as you guys can see, we just completed installing, and you can see it's just saying it's successful here. As you can see, it's successful. 
and you will only get access to play store so let's just quickly reboot the system and i'm skipping this part as well so you just don't need to wait for some more time okay so we just booted into the cyanogen mode so now let's go and quickly check that do we have access to the play store or not so it's just loading some kind of widget here okay so as you can see here we just installed the play store right there and I'll also show you and open the Play Store that this is not going any. Uh, this, this kind of error will not come. That uh, setup wizard or Google Play Store has been stopped. It's hundred percent genuine. Oops. Yeah. It's hundred percent genuine. I'll just load the Play Store, enter my, fill up my ID behind the camera, and show you. Talk to talk amongst yourself, guys. So as you guys can see, I just quickly filled up my data. It just took me roughly 30 seconds to fill up my all details. And the Play Store is working perfectly fine and there is the same ROM, nothing has changed. So if you guys did, if you guys think I did something behind the camera, nothing is like that. I'll just close the Play Store and show you that setup is at a stop, nothing ever is coming like that. Here we go, let's open the Play Store right this screen. Boom. And it's opening fine. It'll take some time. It will take some time to open as you can see it's just opening as fine as it can. So all the things are currently working as fine, as you can see here, I can rate everything as I want. And yeah, for all kind of information guys, if you want to download any kind of uh, Play Store applications, YouTube, Gmail, you need to download it externally. It means you just need to download it from the Play Store itself, you can sideload it if you want to. So yeah, that's it. And if you have any queries regarding the same, you guys can easily ask me in the comment section down below. I will definitely reply you as soon as possible. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you didn't, you know what to do. You know what to do. So this is Bushan signing off and I hope to see you in my next one. You guys have a great day.